a few poems from June Jordan this morning. I could take many, uh, many trips through this book, but I've chosen one for you today. Starting with a sonnet. Sunflower sonnet number two. Supposing we could just go on and on as two voracious in the days apart, as well as when we side by side, the many ways we do that, well, I would consider then perfection possible or else worthwhile to think about, which is to say, I guess the costs of long term tend to pile up, block and complicate, erase away the accidental, temporary, near thing, pulse beat promises one makes because the chance the easy new is there in front of you. But still, perfection takes some sacrifice of falling stars for rare. And there are stars, but none of you to spare. Memoranda toward the spring of 79. The Shah of Iran was overthrown by only several million mostly unarmed inside agitators. The Daily News reports that one American among the first to be evacuated, Patsy Farness of Seattle, said she somehow enjoyed the whole thing, coming off the plane with two Persian cats and a poodle. She said, it was a lovely experience. I didn't want to leave. The instruction booklet for cooking with a Chinese wok declares as follows. With use, your wok will acquire the blackened look of distinction. Martin Luther King Jr. is still dead. The sponsor for the memorial program on his birthday is the National Boat Show at the Coliseum, running January 13th through the 21st, open to the public. If only I could stay awake until 3, then on Channel 11 I could watch Part 1 of Adolf Hitler, but then I'd be too tired to get up by 8 to watch Captain Kangaroo and Woody Woodpecker on Channels 2 and 5. The Shah of Iran was overthrown by only several million mostly unarmed inside agitators. There must be something on television. Martin Luther King Jr. is still dead. Dear Abby, the idea is two dozen red roses, but there isn't any form around the house. Please advise. A short note to my very critical and well-beloved friends and comrades. First they said I was too light, then they said I was too dark, then they said I was too different, then I said I was too much the same, then they said I was too young, and then they said I was too old, and then I said I was too interracial, and then they said I was too much a nationalist, and then I said I was too silly, and then they said I was too angry, and then they said, of course, I was too di idealistic, and then they said I was too confusing altogether, and then, make up your mind, they said, are you militant or sweet? Are you vegetarian or meat? Are you straight? Are you gay? And I said, hey, <clears throat> it's not about my mind. Poem written to the heavy rain through the trees or an update on the Moonlight Sonata. Where are you? Torso precise at the corner of the wall, eye casting me into a mystery, hand of the hungry and wrong. They drink, they dance, they shoot. We drink, we dance, we don't. Where are you? Quietly, quick, keen, close. I sleep parallel to the river. I move without shadow. I stand below the cataclysms of the moon by myself. A few very late poems. Poem on the death of Princess Diana. At least she was riding beside somebody going somewhere fast about love. For Alice Walker. Redwood Grove and war, you and me talking Congo, gender, grief and ash. I say, God, it's all so huge, you say. These sweet trees, this tree. Racial profile number one. Sort of small, but black, but older, but sort of strong, but 
short, but pissed off, but slow, but sort of laughing a lot, but black and not that slow. Racial profile, profile number three. No boat in the water, not so big. Sails full or buckling or drenched or furled up tight and tied to a torn up masthead. A boat in the water, not so big. A boat still in the water. Adrian's poem on the dialectics of the diatonic scale. Supposing every time I hit this key, somebody crumples to the ground or stops breathing for a minute or begins to strangle in the crib. Supposing every time I play this chord, ribs smash, brain cells shrink, and a woman loses all of her hair. Supposing every time I follow a melody, the overtones irradiate five Filipino workers burning their bodies to a bone. A flat, A, A sharp, C, F, G, C. Suppose my musical is a hyper homicidal harp and I'm just playing. June Jordan. <laughs>